Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for subscribing, for connecting, the comments, the community. Thanks for the interest, guys. We're finding structures on the surface of the moon. There are buildings on the surface of the moon and I'm seeing colors on the surface. The buildings are very similar to the buildings that are here on Earth. There's other structuring that looks like tunnelization or some kind of piping, massive, but it does have this white, what looks like actual basaltic lava. Now, I'm going to talk today um, about scale size. Now, here's the hard part to comprehend. I know I'm hard to follow at times, but I'm understanding even more clearly now. Listen up. The big structures you're seeing right now are structures that have smaller structures on top of them. So we're going to talk about now, every time we talk about structures, we will say the big structure platforms or the smaller structures. It doesn't mean that they're small structures, but they are smaller than these big, humongous platforms. The bridge you're looking at right now is longer than Bianchini Crater. Let's go see what the diameter is of Bianchini Crater to give us an idea of just how big this bridge platform or structure is. So let's talk a little bit about Bianchini Crater. Bianchini Lunar Crater, we're talking about an impact crater, right, that lies along the northern Jura Mountains. It rings the Sinus Iridum, the apple bite that I talk about. Um, there's also a city inside the entire Sinus Iridum Mountain in the northwestern part of the near side of the moon, and that's where it can be located. The impact of this crater near the edge of the Jura Mountains deposited some material into the Sinus Iridum floor. Yeah, it deposited a city, basically, because that is exactly what is there. But now I want to go see um, the diameter of Bianchini Crater to give us an idea exactly how long this bridge structure is. So about Bianchini Crater, we know now the diameter, I'm going to tell you, is 38 kilometers. So Bianchini Crater that we see here is 38 kilometers in diameter. The depth, which doesn't really matter here because we can't see the depth, but it is 3.1 kilometers. So, uh, oh, by the way, there's also um, named after Francesco Bianchini, of course. On Mars, there's also a Bianchini Crater. Now, let's talk scale size. On the left, two photos, Bianchini Crater, 38 kilometers in diameter. To the right, the bridge structure that is also 38 to 40 kilometers in length and approximately a kilometer wide. Maybe a bit less than a kilometer wide. 16 or 17 kilometers long by 5 to 6 kilometers wide, maybe 6, 7 kilometers high off the surface, four or five levels, a structure right at the bottom of the Bianchini Crater. So in every frame here at the bottom of the photos, you see patches, even colorful patches, grays, greens. Well, those are structurings and objects that are on the surface of the moon. So that bridge on the top right, and we now know is 40 kilometers long. So it does give us a scale size. Bianchini Crater, 38 kilometers long and so on and so forth. By doing this, comparing craters, it's what we can do to be sure of the length. The top left structure you see there, I'm gonna get the star on it. This would be about 15 to 16 uh, kilometers long. The one beside it too, right here, 17 to 18 kilometers long. It's giving us an idea of how long these structures are, so they are pretty big. So now we know the structures all around Bianchini Crater are a couple of miles. I'm using miles now for the Americans. I have so many <laughs> supporters from the States. I mean, you guys use miles, we use kilometers, you know. the uh, That's how it is, right? So that we can't communicate. See the gray patches between these um, over my finger? That's where the smaller, or should I say closer structures are to the surface. And those are the jumbled up cities 
of structures that are all amongst. Here again, see the blur, patches? Big structures on one side, pipes, big pipes, then you have big structures. This is sinus iridum. We're also going to go see the dimensions and diameter of sinus iridum to give us an idea. This is in the end. Look at that beautiful pipe on the bottom left there coming right out of sinus iridum. And you see the blur over it? Those are structures right there are my figures. Guys, it's incredible. We're starting to see it. And slowly, I'm going to explain it better and better. Right there where my finger is, there's a pipe. And over top, thousands of structures. And at the back, sinus iridum point mountain, where it starts over top of this area, gigantic. 410 kilometers by 265 kilometers. The entirety of sinus iridum. Those are the dimensions that are said they are. So therefore, the city to the right of Bianchini Crater would be approximately 75 to 125 kilometers. So sinus iridum at 237,000 square feet, 410 kilometers by 265 kilometers. This is in black and white. Look at sinus iridum. You can see the point down there, a lot of rectangular structures. They're overlapping levels, platforms, one over the other, probably about pretty high. I'd say about 10 to 15 miles high. You could see it there. And the end of sinus iridum, you know, in all photos, take a look at it properly. It doesn't look natural. And it really looks symmetrical. So we're talking about, again, 410 kilometers by 265 kilometers. So the structures that we're seeing up there, see, this is sinus iridum. If you look out, it sort of looks like a roof top, right? Or uh, Kim Jong-un's um, head. Um, this is the color on the surface of the moon. This is another area where... Look at the crater to the right. There's light emanating from there. Always a haze over top. And again, this I think is not structures over the top of the right crater where you see the yellow. I think it is probably a real haze. But to the left, these beautiful objects, um, mechanisms, mechanical objects, whether they're the mechanical or not, they're on the surface of the moon. They look symmetrical, right? They look built. And don't forget, things can look um, unnatural and or built and constructed by a being or human uh, without it being symmetrical. We can see something here on Earth that's totally crooked, but we know it's built, right? Well, the same goes for the surface of the moon. Now look at the point of sinus iridum even closer. On the bottom part of this photo, friends, on the left and on the right of the two rectangular platforms that you see in the center, those are the areas where there are cities. So, so far I'm seeing the areas of the cities are, and I'm giving you an aprox, pretty close, like here. Look at the blurs. If this is 40 kilometers long to 45 kilometers long, this uh, platform or bridge, the blurs that we're seeing amongst and around these areas are anywhere from 10 miles to, you know, uh, a couple of kilometers, uh, maybe some areas are 15 to 25 that I've seen some of the widest areas. And this is where the structures are. I owe a lot of thanks to you guys for your patience, for your contributions. Mr. Steven Schliebecker, brother, thanks for contributing. Welcome to the community. Thanks so much, bro. Uh, for helping man the observatory is that much closer the dream is becoming a reality wso youtube channel i and steve will be interacting yes friday talking about all the anomalies and structures i found on the moon check them out wso youtube channel